Okay, it was not my intent to present anything, but since by talking with some guys here, I noticed that uh, uh, I've been working with uh, knowledge representation languages, and they seem to be totally unknown to some of you. So I'm going to put some names, and first tell me if, he, if it rings any bell. One is called, what's called KL1, Classic. And loom. Are some some guys aware of this? Okay, good, great. Um, uh, th these are are, uh, are uh, knowledge representation systems, which are very powerful. Uh, KL1 and Classic was invented by a guy called uh, Ron Brashman. He used to work for um, Fairchild, then AT and T. And uh, then um, Loom was, uh, was designed um, at USC uh, ISI by Robert McGregor uh, on financial uh, by the DARPA. And uh, I just want to spend two, two minutes and not two hours because it can, it can be very long to explain. Uh, the, uh, actually, it's a, it's a, it's a frame-based language which is very powerful and which has, uh, uh, which has uh, classifiers and reasoning, reasoning systems. Uh, for instance, um, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a way to implement um, structural uh, data uh, as a taxonomies. For, and uh, so you, um, you deal with uh, concepts and instances. Uh, for instance, let's Let's have a concept called mammal, okay? And uh, you're gonna have uh, it's gonna be subsumed by some other concepts, and and here I put uh, something very far away, which could be horse, okay? And uh, uh, you, you define some attributes to uh, to what mammals are. Okay, you have a series of attributes, and for instance, you can define what um, what what is not a horse. Okay, Let, let's forget this. It's uh, 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 but uh, and and for instance, you got now you, you are going in the in the real world. You're gonna have some instances of of horses. So <coughs> that, this is my horse. Okay, and this is one instance. Of, of the concept horse, but if um, and and then you you are you are going to have some attributes which are inherited from mammals, but you're going to have some special attributes for the horses. And suppose you um, you you define uh, you define a concept of of uh, equus, which can be uh, a horse or can be. Um, uh, uh, any sort of uh, of, of the same uh, uh, genius. I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know exactly the stem. But then, w when you define that, it should it should be placed here between horse and mammal. And um, and so the, the there is a, there is first order logic inside Loom, for instance, which is going to um, uh, to classify. This new concept, which was missing, it's going to place it here automatically, okay? And um, based on what? Oh, but based on based on what you de described as um, as um, as um, as attribute that is belonging to mammal, but uh, and which belongs to horse, and to some other 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 kind of. Uh, of, of the same um, uh, 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 genus, how do you say that? Uh, well, you see what I mean. Yeah. And, um, and for instance, so, but then you can deal with uh, the concepts and the instances. For instance, if you define um, unicorn, okay, unicorn can be defined as a horse with a, with a, with a, uh, a horn in the, in the middle of the, of the, of the, of the head. So you, you can define that as as a kind of horse, which could be okay, which could be a unicorn, 
uh, well, actually it shouldn't be there, but uh, it should be somewhere, but the instance would be uh, 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 null. So it's not possible to have uh, in, in, uh, an instance of unicorn in the real world, although you can define it as a concept. Okay. Well, uh, and this, this is, these are very, very powerful uh, uh, system to... Uh, <clears throat> so it's not a database. It's much more powerful than, than a database. Uh, and, and mainly uh, now that the machines are very fast. And it's, it's entirely written in Lisp. Uh, for um, uh, Loom, it uses class, but on, on classic it does not. But it's 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 really I, I've been experimented this, and it's a very very interesting uh, way of yes. Is there is also a K knowledge representation from the what you say? K K here from Gardet. Because yeah. it, it was uh, embedded in Kernet and it has been extracted and it's now available, uh, I think, in QuickLisp. Uh, but my question is, are those uh, systems, uh, are the source available? Yes, yes, okay. Loom, Loom is actually available because it was financed by DARPA. DARPA, so you can, you can find it on the internet. Okay. It's fair, I really love to use that. Uh, classic, mm -hmm. classic belong, well, used to, well, belong to AT&T. And I had a copy because I, I wrote some uh, non-disclosure agreement or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but now now it's it's pretty old. Uh, uh, but, uh, a lot of these things are now done on uh, other um, platforms. What you say? A lot of these How? things that you went. Basically, you are looking at uh, uh, I've ontology seen that, manipulation. I've seen that Loom, Loom, Loom is, of course, available in, in, on, on, on Unix and uh, Linux, but I've seen it's, uh, it seems to be available on Windows as well. So, yeah? Where, where do you fit the platypus? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> platypus? I forgot that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>